Okay, welcome to the first episode. First off, I'd like to say thank you for checking out the Mac School. The first episode, well, set of episodes really, are going to focus more on the desktop, the dock, settings, and everyday tasks that you will need to know to make your way around and personalize OS X. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to look at here is your desktop. Um, one thing that we should note right away is I am using the latest version of OS X, which is Mac OS 10.6. Uh, it's called Snow Leopard and it was just released. So one thing to, to know right offhand is that some of the features that I'm using, if you're not using Snow Leopard, may be a little different or may not be there at all. So um, one way to check to see which operating system you're using, if you don't know already, would be to come up here and click on this little Apple logo and click on About This Mac. As you can see here, I'm using version 10.6. So you may want to check to make sure that you're using 10.6 as well. If you're not, then what I would tell you to do um, is check and see if you're using an Intel chip. If you're using a Mac, that, if you've recently bought a Mac that was uh, from 2006 on up, then more than likely you've got an Intel Mac. But right here it tells you whether you do or not. And if you do, you're going to want to make the upgrade to, uh, to Snow Leopard. Um, so what you can do is either go to... Uh, your local Apple store or if you have a Best Buy that actually sells um, Apple products then check out your your local store and uh, and pick that up it should be about 30 bucks or you can go to uh, and this is the first time we're running Safari so we'll get to see the fun stuff first there alright let's see go to apple.com And as you can see, Snow Leopard now available. Make your way over to the store. And right here, buy now. Click on that and uh, get yourself the latest version of uh, Mac OS X. Alright, so we're going to close down Safari because we're going to get to that a little later. Um, for the most part, though, the things that you're going to be looking at on the desktop are. are largely the same between 10.5 and 10.6 so hopefully it won't be too much of a, uh, a problem. Uh, the first thing like I said that we're going to look at is a desktop. Um, when you first get a Mac your desktop is going to look very similar to this probably maybe with the exception of having I have two drives here this is a Windows partition we'll get into that maybe at another uh, another episode but um, basically this is your your real estate for putting icons and applications and files, whatever you want to put on there. Um, a lot of Mac users keep their desktop very, you know, fairly clean and um, actually on the Mac that I use the most there's no no icons, nothing really gets saved to the desktop at all and it basically just, you know, so that I can get to files easier if I have the screens maximized or whatever. Um, down here at the bottom is the dock. Uh, Again, things probably look pretty similar to you, uh, with the exception of ScreenFlow, which is my uh, the capturing software that I'm using right now to make this video. Um, and we'll start off over here. This is your Finder. Um, basically, Finder is it, it's how you're going to dig into your files and how you're going to dig into your your operating system um, and find everything where you've placed files and application folders and things of that nature. And if you click that, it's going to open up your folder system. Uh, your Macintosh HD is going to be the drive right here obviously you can click on that either way. Um, that's your applications folder, your library, um, your system folder, and your users. Um, again I have quite a few different drives here. Uh, some of them are for video and backups and things of that nature and I also subscribe to um, MobileMe so I have what they call iDisk which is it's basically a hard drive that's located on a server somewhere else so that I can keep files and not risk having them lost. Um, here is going to be a little different maybe for you as well. I also have another Mac. This is my MacBook uh, and it sees it over the network that I have. We can get into that another time. Um, places, again, you can click on desktop. And this is basically, the, this folder is everything that's contained on your desktop out here. So if you were to make a folder here, You'll notice that it pops in over here as well. Get rid of that folder, and it's gone from over here as well. Mac School. This is uh, this is my my folder for the user that I'm on. Yours is going to be different, obviously. 
um, and here's all your apps or your folders for the different types of things that you have located on your computer. Applications, um, we're going to get into that later. If I open it right now, it's going to be very different from what you're looking at. Um, I have full version of uh, Adobe software and Aperture and all kinds of things. So that's going to be very different. We can get into some of those things at a later point. Uh, your documents. Um, your documents are going to be where you want to keep all your, your files that you make, you know, PDFs that you find from online or whatever the case may be. Um, any files that you download that or, or create using um, iWork or something similar to that, you'd want to keep in documents nice and organized so that you can find them for later. And the search section down here, uh, we're going to get into that at another point too, but basically if you search for anything over here, it's going to create Basically, it's going to be stored, I should say, down here in this in this section here. So anything that you search for today, if you were to click here, it's going to pop up those search. Um, and then tomorrow, you can click on yesterday, and that search that we search for today will be there as well. Uh, it does it by week, and then you can find all the images located on your desktop if you or on your computer if you click on all images. Uh, if you click on all movies, it'll pull up all the movies that are located on your computer, as well as all documents. And those are called smart folders, um, or smart search folders here. And, um, but we'll get into those at another time. Right now we really want to just focus on the basics. So that's basically Finder's most basic function, uh, and how you're going to get around on that. Down here is what they call dashboard. And dashboard is basically what they call widgets. Now widgets are small applications that basically can run different things. Um, I'm in New York, so obviously you have New York's weather, um, New York's time. It's also a small calendar and a calculator. Um, first thing you'll notice now is the desktop itself got darker. Uh, that's because all this stuff is unavailable to you right now. If you click off of it, it's going to close down your widgets. So let's open that back up for a second. Now, now each one of these applications you can click on. I don't want you to get confused on that. Um, and if you wanted to change things, you click on this little eye here, and it's going to flip around to the other side. Now, on this side, you would type in wherever your location is. Um, when you do that, it's going to pull up your location's weather. You can also tick this little um, six-day forecast, and it'll give you your lows as well. Um, as far as the clock is concerned, same thing. If you click that over, you can click on North America, or you can click on any country or uh, continent that you're on. And you can click on different cities and different time zones. So if you were in say Los Angeles and you click done. Now we're just going to roll back the time. We're going to go back in the future. We're going to go back to New York and I'll click done. And there's what time it is. Um, now there are a lot of widgets that are actually available default in Mac OS X. If you click this little plus down here it's going to pull up a whole, whole list of them. Now a few of these may actually be downloaded from the internet and uh, we can get into that at a later point too but at any time if you wanted a, a different widget that you don't see open here um, you can pull those open as well uh, for instance um, a dictionary and all you do is you click drag up and release and that's going to pop the dictionary in or whatever which one you clicked on and then that can be used as well um, and if you don't want it afterwards, say you're never going to find a use for a clock, I, I tend to find this kind of pointless seems you can look at the one that's right on your desktop, and you can close that off. Maybe you can move this one over there in place of it. Now when you're done managing the widgets, click there, and you'll notice you go down to Dashboard, and there it is, Dictionary is back up. So that's... Uh, that's Dashboard, and again, we're going to go into a lot more of these things in, de in depth later. Um, this is basically just a, a quick overview on so that you understand what's there and what you can do with them.